Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Good morning, a lot to talk about and most of our attention will actually focus on Tuesday because that's our next main weather maker on the way. I should point out if you have plans today, it'll be cool, but not as windy and not as cold. We'll talk more about today in just a few minutes. First, let's talk about Tuesday and we will be seeing likely snow starting late Tuesday morning into Tuesday afternoon. So I do think pretty much all of the area starts as snow and then we transition over to rain. Now there could be a wintry mix or some sleet in between, but I'm thinking by Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning, we are mostly rain. In fact, you could see that here in the overnight forecast Tuesday into Wednesday morning with the green showing most of that rain falling. Now there may be pockets of freezing rain lingering, especially north and west of 295 early on Wednesday morning, but I would say in terms of impacts right now, it would be the Tuesday evening commute that's a little more impacted than the Wednesday morning commute simply because on Tuesday evening we could be dealing with several inches of snow on the ground. I don't have a snowfall map quite ready to go. Still looking at some more information throughout the day, but right now we're not talking about a blockbuster snowstorm because of that change over to rain, but we know how things can change. Should that change over take a little bit longer to occur or should the storm track a little bit further south that low pressure that could mean more snow, especially in northern Rhode Island. So we'll keep you updated. Winds right now not as bad as yesterday. Nine miles an hour in Smithfield nine in Newport three in Westerly 10 miles an hour on Block Island. A recent gust on Block Island of 16 miles an hour in Providence. Gorgeous view here. Actually, we're looking from East Providence towards the capital city. You're probably noticing I'm using this camera a lot. This is one of my favorite new cameras. It often has some gorgeous views in the morning, but so does this one. How about this one from Newport? Gorgeous pink sky here with our temperature in North Kingstown at 21 degrees. Recent winds of 24 miles an hour and our weather station in Warwick showing 25 with a recent wind gust of 17 miles an hour. So that high to low pressure gradient is a little weaker today, so that's why we won't have the winds nearly as strong. This wave of low pressure, this is part of that system on Tuesday. This will also be enhanced by a piece of energy ejecting from the northwest part of the country. Out in Seattle, I believe I saw a report up to seven inches of snow in parts of the city. That's close to as much as they get for the entire year out there, so that is a big deal for Seattle. And as we track our temperatures for today, 27 by 9 a.m., noontime 30, 36 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Notice our winds generally around 5 to 15 miles an hour. And because of the lighter winds, I did want to show you the uh, wind chills, which I'll show you in just a second. First, these are actual temperatures 36 in Wickford, 36 Hope Valley this afternoon. Northern Rhode Island temperatures in the mid 30s, 37 Johnson, 35 Woonsocket with those winds out of the west at 5 to 15 miles an hour. Eastern Massachusetts also in the mid 30s, 36 for Attleboro, Seekonk, 37 to Fall River, Westport, and Dartmouth in the mid to upper 30s. Our wind chill forecast much more reasonable than what we saw yesterday. Remember yesterday, the single digits in teens. Today, around 26 for a feel like in Providence, 25 Newport, 22 Westerly, and 20 on Block Island. And our wind chills tonight, if you have plans, still holding in the mid 20s. No football going on today. What are we going to do, right? Seven day forecast shows our uh, temperatures getting up to around 36 tomorrow. There's that messy situation starting as snow over to rain on Tuesday through Tuesday night with some early morning rain showers and maybe a few pockets of freezing rain early on Wednesday morning. Towards the end of the week, likely a rainy system on the way. Highs in the upper 40s, low 50s. You can always get an updated forecast on our website 